All right, guys, here we are, episode six of our Arcane season two, part two watch party. Thank you so much, guys, for hanging out with me, joining, whether you're watching this video on YouTube or you're checking this out on the Patreon side. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this experience through Arcane Season 2. It's been an incredible journey so far, and it's it's been one, especially in Part 2, we've seen a lot of plot developments. In Episode 5, I mean, we found out, you know, that Jace kind of got sucked into the Wild Rune, and he's been there for quite some time. Still hoping to find out what happened to Echo, what happened to Hyman Dinger. But on the other side, on the flip side, we saw Caitlyn kind of, you know, continuing to work her magic, hunting down Jinx. And then we see Jinx and Vi and Vander and Isha have a beautiful moment coming together for the first time. They Them getting a chance to see their father, who they haven't really seen in, in many, many years, finally get to see them as, you know, a bit older, a bit more adult. And I think that's really going to change everything when it comes to this episode and obviously jumping into the finale. That's what I'm excited to see. So I can't wait to see what happens in part six. I feel like obviously similarly to part three, that was a, a major, you know, I had a lot of plot twists and it had a lot of uh, major developments that would lead into part two. I very much expect that part episode six for part two will be a catalyst that will lead to the finale, the final part, the last three episodes, that being part three. So I'm curious to see. I'm going to be locked in on this episode and cannot wait to share it with each and every one of you. If you're on the YouTube side, I may have had to cut a few parts out, um, just given music and things like that, that Arcane often likes to use in many of their scenes. Sometimes it causes us to have to cut a lot of parts out but if you want to see the full uncut version uninterrupted you already know what to do i'll put a link to my patreon down in the bio jump over on patreon you could see the full uncut version we'd love to have you become a part of our community over there as well and if you're seeing this on youtube drop a like on this video subscribe comment down below what you thought of part two so far after we finish this episode i cannot wait for part three there's so many videos that i already want to make so many theories about this season this part of the season two uh, that I can't wait to share with you guys over on TikTok and shorts and things like that. But that's enough of my rambling, guys. Let's not waste any time. Let's jump into episode six of part two of Arcane. Dude, the last time we left off, we had Jace on a, on a mission. I mean, your, your man saw some things out in the wild rune that I think are really going to change how he moves forward. And I, I, I kind of am contemplating a Jace versus Victor fight scene that may come up. Maybe, maybe in this episode. I can't let you leave. I'm sorry you feel that way. I'm sorry too. Damn, did he, re he really killed Sallow. That is wild behavior. That isn't the Jace. But there is another will at work within him. I thought I heard something just before the portal closed. Ancient, like a... Wait, that was it. That's his assistant, right? Or was before he, you know. We've never seen complexity like this. Flawless, exquisite chaos. So this man is basically understands the the he understands the complexities of the universe or something. It seems like this episode is definitely going to be highlighting, you know, Victor's side of things. Your eyes see what others don't might bending your environment to your will i can't believe caitlin has allowed herself to be manipulated by this woman you need force too much force exposes you to risk they turned your girl caitlin into an absolute weapon alas it's guile phantoms absent Absent accountability. Wait, isn't he a mage, that guy? Remember That's why he keeps her around. Or she keeps him around, right? Lava in your veins. Shadows in your heart. This is the truth of combat. Sacrifice. The temper born of suffering. We Damn. I mean, you gotta give it to her. She's kind of a poet. Pardon the interruption. I've tracked him to Zorn. Let's hunt a beast. Now this is going to become a problem now because now that Vi and Jinx know that it's Vander, they're going to have to stop Caitlyn from killing him? Like... You filthy traitor. Yes. And that was me at my worst. Simply awful. Oh, that is true. He did, he did kind of set them up. He's given me a chance to make amends. All are welcome. But I must ask you to surrender your weapon. This is a place of peace. Ugh. 
Because there ain't no peace around these parts. Friendo. I still want to know how much how much those things weigh. Now maybe they're going to try to get healed by like to get him to heal Victor or uh, Vander. The Herald's vision. Damn, homie literally created his own faction. We hear you can heal people. My boy literally built himself a snow globe. Dude, that's actually wild. Is he reaching his? It's worth the risk. So he really is going to try to heal Vander. Vander's psyche is deeply entangled with that of the beast. How did you know his name? He told me. Ask for a miracle healer. Get a metal fortune cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Dream of your family. The vision of Zone as it could have been. It was a cookie. <laughs> I will do all in my power. However, I have one condition. Looks like you got a couple. Damn. Powder. The talent can be used to build instead of destroy. I'll stick with what I know. I mean, I guess that's really all she's kind of known is destruction. Um, or would she, she grew up in it. What do you think? You actually. Want my opinion? I hate fortune cookies. <laughs> Dude, it's... But they're Vander. Do you remember them? <laughs> I remember Mom's smell the most. <laughs> Do you think it could actually work? Underground Utopia run by a skinny, thin machine hair. Maybe when pills over slides in at the stump. What if we stayed? Help them out. We? I mean, you could tell Vi always did want her sister back. I believe this Herald may be a former pupil of mine. Man of science. Oh. It's crazy that they just charge into the Undercity. What the hell? I'm really starting to think Piltover is like the real enemy. You just know this ain't gonna go well. My man. Dude, this feels like a real battle of like science versus faith. Which is a paradox. The more one understands, the more one realizes the vastness of his ignorance. Marvelous specimen, isn't he? Regenerative qualities of his blood will stabilize. Shimmer combined with you, the apex form of Hextech. And what you are suggesting would destroy him. Conquest? The greed of warmongers? Yeah, essentially. That's the whole theme of this season. To save us from ourselves, you must survive, Victor. Do you believe in fate, Doctor? Our paths carved before us. An invisible hand. Not fate. Evolution. Nature's greatest force. Nah, dude, this dude is sus. I don't, I don't, I don't trust him. Evolution has a destination, not to combat nature, but to supersede the final glory evolution. I will not sacrifice his humanity for your cause. You may leave. Damn, dude, that's a bar. He's like, get out. Or Victor, I should say. But now, now I don't know. I feel like he might actually be good. Like, homie doesn't know he's being followed. I mean, come on now. And she's going to run into Caitlyn. On the job, I see. 
You can't be here. Oh, here like where I landed when this rich, unhinged mongoose just tackled me. <laughs> Your hair. You look like an angry oil. Don't sugarcoat it. Cupcake. Oh, cupcake. Now what is Jinx gonna think? We tracked some sort of new chem weapon down here. A bloodthirsty murderous beast. What are you doing here? Trying to save my dad. Yeah. Dude, this is getting so complicated. Damn, dude. And then Jace. Who is also on the hunt. Dude, everybody's on the hunt in this episode. So much for happy reunions. Well done, Caitlin. Nah, this was definitely a setup. Like, this is all a part of their plan. Nah, this is all a part of the plan. That's just my theory. I knew you could get it. I had some time to think lately. Ever since you dropped into my life, it looks like I put on glass. Except I can't tell whether everything's blurry or clear. She finally is seeing. Hear a dumb joke? A sentimental ex con, a giant furball, and two of Phil Topher's most wanted walk into a weird cult. And here comes the punchline. Oh no. Bye. Dude, Jinx is such a badass. I owe you thanks. Your absence provided a vacuum I was able to fill. In other circumstances, I might have offered you a position in my organization. Your resilience is undeniable. Is she about to reveal her her Of course that won't be possible. Her grand plan? Too many complications. Caitlin must not be distracted. You know, my father taught me about trust. He told me if I wanted it, there were only three things I needed to do. Dude, I'm telling you, they're both playing Madarda. Even if it means telling a self-righteous swim bag that her breath smells like a cesspool. Be patient. You still haven't quite cracked that one. But being tight. And the third? Just shut the fuck up. Oh! Holy shit! The Fishers patrol circle the community even in post. A personal guard are posted here, here, and here. Oh my god, dude, that's so tough. Holy shit, dude. Banner's in trouble. You're not gonna like it. Yo, this is actually insane. She's like, you got got, my girl. Oh no. And Bessa believed in you. Oh no. Would be a deep cut. Holy shit. Jinx. Dude, when she does the little glitchy thing, dude, it's so sick. And this dude's like runes just absorb all hextech. Oh, Vander! Don't touch my daughter. Oh hell yeah, dude! Hell yeah! Dude, that's so sick. Oh, here we go. Can Caitlyn learn to forgive? I won't fail. I swear to 
What did he see? No way. What? And he killed them all. My boy just committed mass genocide. Like I said, nothing lasts in the other city for long. Oh my god, dude. Damn! Oh no, y'all are all dead. You're all dead. There's no shot. And now, the message hidden within the reason for our failures in the commune. The doctor was right. It's inescapable. Humanity. Our very essence. Dude, compassion, hate. That's horrible. Two sides of the same coin, inextricably. I don't think it's the same Vander. That's definitely not the same Vander. You almost feel bad for Isha, too, who now has to, like, just witness so much tragedy and destruction. And bro, if they kill Isha, dude, that's going to be tragic. No, dude, that's not what they're doing, is it? No, man. Are they killing Isha? Holy shit. No. Oh, no.